let's learn all about shortcuts. I'm here with cinematics mode enabled in the FSR 500 by FS Reborn. I have Chase Plane open at the top left of my screen, but you probably can't see it. Chase Plane can collapse into a thin menu bar. We call it the mini bar. It's an easy way to select views using your mouse. If your keyboard is away, or if you don't have space for view shortcuts, it disappears when you're not using it and reappears when you need it. You can restore the full Chase Plane panel by clicking the leftmost button. I've already tuned the views for this aircraft the way I like them. You can learn how to configure your own views in the Views and Smart Views tutorial. Now it's time to make those views accessible with shortcuts. While I'll be using my keyboard for shortcuts in this video, you can use joysticks and controller buttons too. If you have a Stream Deck, you can configure hotkeys to perform the desired keyboard actions. Let's start with the basics. In Chase Plane, you can set control assignments to move from one camera mode to another. We can access control assignments from the Chase Plane Preferences page. From there, I can search for Go To and look at the results. I can, for example, assign the one key for internal, two for external, and three for world mode. Those assignments will just change the camera mode. This means that if I moved my pilot view and go to an external view, it will still be in the same position when I come back. If I want to reset the position of this view, I can simply press my assigned button for internal again. Now, by default, MSFS lets you save up to 10 cockpit views. With Chase Plane, we're breaking you free from that limit. You can create as many custom views as you want, both inside and outside of the aircraft. You can assign a shortcut to a group to switch between multiple views contained within it. Let's begin with a simple view shortcut. I can edit a view by pressing the pencil icon, in this case, the pilot view. In the view editor, I have the ability to assign a view shortcut. Keep in mind that what you assign here is for the pilot view of this aircraft specifically and doesn't apply to other aircraft. In this example, I'll use the number eight on my keyboard. I can assign as many keys or buttons as I need. If I go back to my views, you'll see that the shortcut is now listed with the view. If you assign the same key or button to another view, in this case, the co-pilot view, Pressing it will rotate through all of them. Next, we'll have a look at group shortcuts. In Chase Plane, all views are part of a group. Groups contain parameters like motion effects, camera physics, and more that will dictate how this view will behave. You can assign a shortcut to a group and cycle through all the views within it. For example, here I can edit the pilot group and assign number pad 1 to it. Then I can do number pad 2 for instruments. And finally, number pad 3 for passengers. I can do the same outside as well. I'll assign the second row on my number pad to external groups. Number pad 4 for spot view. Number pad 5 for chase views. And finally, number pad six for hard mounted views. When I go back to the main page, you'll see the assigned shortcuts under each aircraft views, matching their group. For the third row, I can assign control assignments relating to the world camera. If I go to preferences and search for world, I will find all the controls that relate to the world camera. For now, I'll assign the following keys. Number pad seven for drone, number pad eight for flyby, and finally, number pad nine for nearest tower. Going back to my views, I can now trigger most of the views available to me with the nine number pad keys. Those are my pilot views, instrument views, passengers, the orbit camera. Note that the plane is centered on the screen. My chase camera. 
mounted cameras on the outside. The drone view, like an actual drone, is completely detached from your aircraft. Finally, a flyby mode that allows you to keep control of your plane while it flies past the camera. Tower view takes you to the closest control tower while tracking your aircraft. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching and welcome to Chase Plane.